Andy Moore's deep note is a fundamental part of THX brand equity and a very crucial element of the brand personality. The brief we gave him was to keep the very spirit of the deep note, but to develop it with the latest technologies with a surround sound effect even richer than we used to have in the past. I've had a long career in technology and the arts. I mean, I've always been interested in technology and engineering and in music as well. I was a lifetime musician and coming from a musical family. In general, it was hard to find an opportunity to combine my interests in engineering and in music at the same time. At the time I was growing up, there were a few experiments in this kind of combination. The evolution of the Deep Note project hinged on the THX sound system. When I first heard this, I was actually in the machine room here at, uh, at, at Lucasfilm, and we, and Andy brought in his computer and hit, you know, I remember the, the, the first trailer came by, and when the two pop goes by, instead of absolutely syncing up, he just kind of hit the return button on the, on the computer, and then the sound played. It was pretty exciting. What was really great about it, I think, if you think back, is that the visuals were incredibly simple. All I said was THX, that's it, faded up, done. So the sound kind of drove the whole piece. The reaction that it's gotten from the public, uh, I've been astonished. I mean, I knew it would have an uh, emotional impact, but I had no clue that it was going to grab hold of people the, the way that it did. When I wrote the program originally, I really didn't want to have to write down the exact shape of each voice's path throughout the piece. So rather than writing the piece in detail, what I wrote was a pr computer program that generates the piece. I don't know how he synthesizes this, but it's, all, it's, it's, it's scientific as well as everything else. That's what I like. Something works for that. You got essentially it's a piece of sound that tells you, isn't cinema, theater, sound system great? And uh, it's generated in a scientific way. So it has the satisfaction of music, but it has the foundation of science. So. It's interesting because, especially picking it up now after 30 years, I thought I'd understood the piece, but now that I listen to it again, I hear more material that's yet to be discovered in it. But the more you listen to it, the more you can pick out something new every time you hear it. And I knew, given the way it built up, that it was going to have an emotional impact. Uh, to some extent, this was playing on human nature. It's a kind of, if you will, storytelling. But giving me the opportunity to actually now, with modern technology, do, the, do it the way I really wanted to do it and couldn't have because of the limitations of the technology is just absolutely marvelous. I mean, the ability to get out of the, those five speakers and go to more bandwidth is just a, it's a marvelous opportunity. What's different is that backing up from the, the big note of, of the trailer is bigger than it was before because of the way theaters are now. So you can go down deeper in the frequencies and Andy's generated down deeper. And there's more voices to it. So a, in, at least in the large formats, it's more, there's more complexity to it that uh, makes it cooler. And then spatially, we can move it through the theater in a way that we couldn't before as well. So the whole thing has this kind of swirling, slowly, mysterious, coming together into a climax feel to it. So it's, it's the same as before, but better. It's interesting, it feels like it's not quite music, not quite sound effects, but it has a feeling of a, a bit of a drama. We were talking about it today in the mix where the, you know, the, it takes a while to come together. When it finally comes together into this, whatever this chord is, at the end it's, it's uh, both big but also satisfying because the beginning of it is, has a mystery to it, a kind of a, Everything is floating and moving and not quite uh, blending until it gets to the end. And so it has that classic feel of satisfaction. <laughs>